Hey everybody, it's Cam for Titanium. Today we have a review of the MacBook Air 13 inch 2011 Core i7, 256 gigabytes of solid state storage, 4 gigs of RAM, blah blah blah. That's all here. Let's get right into the review. So, we have a 13.3 inch screen on the front. We have the full keyboard on the bottom, backlit, and we'll show that a little bit more off later. We have the trackpad down there. On the other side, we have the SD card slot, Thunderbolt port, one USB port. And on the other side, we have a, another SD card slot, the MagSafe, the omnidirectional microphone, and the headphone jack. At the top, on the front, we have the FaceTime camera. It's not an HD FaceTime camera, which is too bad. And that's just the way it is. They say it's because the screen is too thin to fit that camera on there, but it's not the end of the world. It's still The picture still does look pretty good. Anyway, uh, we can just move on now to really getting into this review. So, in terms of software, you're rocking Mac OS X Lion. You've got the Mac App Store. You've got the whole shebang. You obviously know what you're getting into with a Mac. I shouldn't have to explain to you, you know, what a Mac is. You probably already know, yes, I'm looking for a Mac. Is this the one I want? So, you got OS X Lion, which is a great OS. There's a couple of kinks st still being worked out, but overall, it's pretty good. You have... Um, as I said, the Mac App Store, which is a great source for getting all kinds of applications, it's really getting flushed out now. So, that's what you're getting with the software. Really, you already know what you're getting with the Mac, so let's just move back right on into what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So, what are my favorite things about it? It's really thin, it's really light, but it feels solid. Look at that. Look at how thin it is. It's so thin, it's only 2.93 pounds. It's really light, but yet it feels really solid. Like you're getting something that feels really, really solid here. So the industrial design on this is incredible. Everything is just, you know, machined and just feels great. And like, I really can't have any complaints there. It definitely is a nice piece of metal. So no complaints there. Definitely good in that respect. Very thin, very light, very solid. Industrial design materials, all good. Next thing, the keyboard. It's full size, it feels good. The keyboard is really good on this computer. That is definitely not one of my complaints. If we just look at that keyboard. So, there you can see the keyboard fully lit up. You can see the lighting is very even on this keyboard as in comparison to some other computers or some of the MacBook Pros. They've improved the new lighting technology there's a fiber, there's a couple LEDs that are all, the light is all distributed through fiber optic cable. So the lighting is very, very good. So you can also see the trackpad is down there with all of its multi-touch gestures, like the four fingers, the two fingers, it's all here. Next, performance. You can, you can check out my performance video if you'd like to, but I'll just let you, you know, performance is really good. For doing day-to-day -day, day -day tasks like having the web browser open, running lots of applications, you're going to be fine. Your only problem you're going to start running into is when you start wanting to run stuff that are you know video intensive. So if you want to start running things like video editing and you want to start doing you know lots of flash video in 1080p and you want to start doing gaming, that's when you're going to start to see a real performance. You know, it's really starting to get bogged down. But other than that, performance is very good. Also, battery life is very good. Battery life, I can get a good six, seven hours on here, doing fairly intensive tasks, watching lots of video, doing some video editing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So battery life, definitely good. Next is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is not really being used right now to its fullest, but this port will really let you take your computer to the next level when we start seeing some of those great accessories. We've already seen some of them already, like that accessory that allows you to plug a PCI expander into the Thunderbolt port, which allows you to get a graphics card plugged into this computer, just like that. So the Thunderbolt port will really let you take this computer to the next level when it comes to a couple years down the line. SSD on this computer. Just turning the computer on and off is very fast. We can just show you a boot up test now. We will shut down and boot ourselves right back up. So as I was saying, booting up is quite fast. The computer's off, we'll just boot up now. Three, two, one, and there we go. So I will drop the time that it takes for the boot up on the bottom of your screen, but it is a quite not quite, very fast, boot up. 
So here we go. Booting on up. And we're booted. So that was very fast. And the boot up on this computer is definitely good. So if we move on now, close that. We can move on to the things that are not so great about this computer. And there are definitely some. So my biggest gripe is you do not have a dedicated graphics card. So that means video editing and especially gaming can be very slow sometimes, not up to par. So if you're planning on doing a lot of video editing or even some gaming, not even a lot of gaming, just some like moderate gaming, you may want to look into a MacBook Pro or a Windows machine because gaming here is definitely not top of the line. Next, no glass over the screen. Right there is the LCD. That means cleaning this thing can be a pain. You cannot just take a cloth with water and start wiping it on your LCD. It's going to get down in the crack. Very bad. You really want to have the fiber cloth to clean because cleaning it without the glass is a pain and a big irritator of mine. If you have ever had a MacBook Pro, you know there's a little LED battery indicator on the side that you could hit the button and it shows you how much battery life you have. That is not to be found here. And I know it's really thin, it's hard to fit it in. But that is a feature I really, really like on the MacBook Pros. So, no LED battery indicator, no HD FaceTime camera, and another complaint I have. This computer does have an SD card slot. And you may think, oh, it's only got 128 gigs of storage or 258 gigs of storage. If you go for the higher end option, that's not a ton. What if I want to pick up a 32 gig uh, SD card or a 64 gig SD card and jam it into the side? Well, you can do that. And as you can see, I've just put an 8 gig card into the side there, but you're going to come across a problem. The card does not go all the way in, and that means that this makes it sort of unfeasible to have the card in all the time as, some st as you know, you can't just have your iPhoto library on an SD card and just leave it in your computer all the time and then, you know, be able to just carry the computer around with the card in, take that out. You can't just use the as an SD card as a form of storage because they don't go all the way in. I know that there's not a lot of room, but I would have given up a little bit of battery life to have the SD card slide all the way in and be able to really keep, you know, storage and get an extra 32 gigs of storage in this computer all the time. Because when you're talking about 128 gigs or 256 gigs, an extra 32 gigs, or if they supported SDXC, an extra 64 or 128 gigs can really make a real difference. So those are my cons and those are my pluses, I guess you could say. But overall, this computer is really good and I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a portable computer. So what do I give this computer? I give this a nine, a nine out of 10. I think it's a really great computer, and even though there are some problems with it, the pros, the things that are good about it, are just really good. And those, the cons, the things that, that are not so great, are really outweighed by how great this computer is overall. So if you're looking for a Mac right now, I, I really don't think you could go better if you're looking for a MacBook. As I said, you have, the new, you have MacBook Pros, but... The performance you're getting extra on a MacBook Pro now has gone down a lot. These things with the Core i7 or the Core i5 processors in them now definitely pack a real punch. And this MacBook Air is definitely a computer you should look into. So that's been Cam for Titania doing a review of the 13-inch MacBook Air 2011 Core i7. 256GB of storage, 4 gigs of RAM. That was a mouthful. I'll see you guys in the next video. As I said, I love this computer. It's awesome. Camp for Titania. See you later.